you can easily create a new event from the Actions and Events module page or from the Event Explorer like this. Now we have to select the module in which our event is being defined. Let's select First Line Call for this example. Alright, let's say we want to define when a call is a waiting action from the caller. This event could be used, for example, to trigger an email action which would notify the caller that they must update the call. So we'll give it a name, Action Needed by Caller, make it active, and choose the card type, Edit Card. The edit specifications we're going to give are that this event occurs with any edit where the field status goes from no specific value to waiting for customer. In other words, this event triggers every time a status of a first-line call gets set to waiting for customer. Now, we can add conditions up here. For example, we can suppress the event when another condition applies. We use and or logic, and there are many attributes on which to base conditions. We should also add a description of the event so that others can quickly understand the event in plain English instead of having to deduce the logic themselves. And now we have our event. We can now link it to an action using this button over here.